what's going on everybody clickwood here back again bringing you guys another madden 16 ultimate team head-to-head -head seasons game today guys what we have is the 1998 broncos matchup between john elway and terrell davis well it's, it's a little bit more than that but hey We've got Terrell Davis, my opponent's got John Elway, and this is actually a pretty darn good game. The first couple of games of my head-to-head -head seasons here have not been that competitive. We've kind of blown out our opponents. This one, I'll let you guys know, is not a blowout. So if you're looking to uh, find a game that's at least a little bit fun to watch, this is your chance. Very first play, we're taking a sack. Couldn't find anybody open there. Second down, we're going back to the run. You know, the usual quick toss, picking up decent yardage there. Almost got that edge. Uh-oh, retard alert. And then, bruh, what am I doing out here? No. Opening drive interception. What am I thinking? Just a horrible decision. Horrible pass. Horrible read. Horrible everything. And yeah, we're already down 7 to nothing. About a minute into the game. When we got the ball first. Yeah, this is not looking good so far, guys. I gotta be honest with you. Chances of coming back in this one looking pretty slim at this point, right? But... We've got Terrell Davis. We're not giving up yet. We are absolutely not giving up yet. And look at Terrell Davis here as he picks up that first down on the screen pass and then fights for another eight-yard gain there, about eight, nine-yard gain, somewhere in that range. And then we're going back to the screen pass, but he gets caught up on the defensive end, and we take another sack, brings up a third and ten, and we nearly throw another pick. If you go back and watch how that guy reacted, that was crazy. Fourth and ten, decided to go for it. And the reason that I went for it, guys, I usually don't like to go for it this early in the game. But, man, we're already down 7 to nothing, and we just had no momentum. We have to create something on offense. So we do pick up that first down. Four-yard gain on the ensuing first down, and then when Travis Kelsey doesn't turn around to catch the pass there on second down, brings up a third and six. We find our man here, Joe Horn, picking up the first down there pretty easily. Second and seven now, a little bit later in the drive. We go back to Joe Horn here, another out route. Easy completion there, very easy read. Didn't make any mistakes on that one, thankfully. And then on this play here, we find it. Christian Okoya in the flats. He's wide open. We get the block down the field, and we are into the end zone to tie this game up. All right. So, it started off terribly. We didn't really drive down the field that efficiently on that drive. But, hey, the scoreboard is 7-7. Seven to seven. We're not out of this one quite yet. And we pick up the sack there, bringing up now a third and 11. Now, we're looking for the tight end over the middle, trying to bait him in there. We get another hit on the quarterback. 4C in completion. Brings up a fourth down now. And, guys, we are bringing heat here on fourth down. That's all there is to it. We're definitely bringing heat. Not even letting him get the pass off. Incomplete. And we take over on downs at about the 20-yard line. Trying to put the dagger in now. Another pass here in the flat to Christian Okoya. Same exact play as the previous one that we scored on. Now, second and three. Looking to get this edge here with Terrell Davis. But our offensive lineman ran into us instead of tackling or instead of going after the guy that was trying to tackle us. So, now we're in a tough situation. We don't get the, the first down there on third down. Brings up now a fourth and three. Our second fourth down attempt here. And yes, we are going to go for it. And we find a man. Probably could have hit the tight end in the end zone there. But that was kind of a more risky throw. Wanted something that was for sure going to pick up the first down. We did not want to give him the ball back. And we draw him off sides here on first down. But it doesn't matter. We get into the end zone anyway. So now we've got the lead. All things have been completely turned around in this game. Oh, my God. Gotcha, bitch. We're going to get that user pick as well with Michael Kendricks. About a minute 15 left now in the first half. And my opponent committed on the run there. But unfortunately, we ran a play action. So he was able to pick up the sack. That should have been an easy completion. Unfortunately, it was not. But very next play, Terrell Davis. Going to get that edge and get into the end zone to take us to a 14-point lead now. End of the first half here. 50 seconds left. My opponent's bombing it up here into coverage. Probably could have been intercepted there. Pretty risky throw going into double coverage. My opponent has yet to complete a single pass. And he's bombing it again here. And oh my goodness. He got his hands on it there. But Dominic Rogers cromarty comes up with a massive swat away. Huge play there. We're bringing the heat here again on third down. Brings up now another fourth down. And I can't believe that he's going for it here. I don't know what he was thinking going for it. But... He finds a man, Dominic Rogers Camardi, after the amazing SWAT on the previous play, gets beat deep. We tried to send heat, it just didn't quite get there, and damn it. That could have been a huge swing there. If he didn't complete that pass, we have the ball inside the red zone again. 
But now we've got about, what, 15 seconds left to try and drive down the field. We're going to find a tight end here. Travis Kelsey for a nice completion. Call our final timeout. And that's going to leave us with one more opportunity to try and go deep here. And we just can't find anything. So that is the end of the first half. Now my opponent has the ball coming into the second half. And he's going to try and dink and dunk down the field here. Big completion there over in the flats. And really, that was kind of, other than that deep pass, I think that was his first completion of the game. So really, he had not been very efficient through passing in the first half of this game. And now he's getting things going here with John Elway. It's getting a little bit more difficult to stop his offense. He's not just forcing it into coverage every single play. However... He is trying to take off here with John Elway, takes the hit, and he loses the football. So we are back on offense, and we've got Terrell Davis on the screen pass, waiting for the blocks, picking him up, and getting another big game here. But Terrell Davis loses the football. Are you serious? Are you serious, Terrell Davis? No. No. And this is now a tie football game. Or was it? Nope, we're going to go to the booth review, and they are going to overturn the call on the field, thankfully. Whew. We get away with one there. Probably should have been a fumble. I don't know, man. That was really, really close. But we're not very confident in Trell Davis now. However, we've got him again here in the flats, getting the football in his hands and looking at breaking tackles, making guys miss, bringing back that confidence that we usually have in Terrell Davis. Now, with Davis tired, we're getting the ball into Dree Archer's hands, and he is picking up his own first down there. I think that was his first carry of the game. So he's looking pretty good here, and we're finding our tight end going over the middle here. Travis Kelsey dropped a pass earlier, but he made a couple of really nice catches in the first half. We're desperately trying to get a two-touchdown lead again here, and Dre oh, Archer okay. up the middle. Oh, I shouldn't have tried to truck. What am I doing? That is Dre Archer. Clickwood, you can't truck with Dre Archer. What are you thinking, man? What are you thinking? Terrible, terrible decision. That one does not get overturned. That was an easy fumble. So my opponent now has a chance to get back into a tie football game. He kind of choked this game away early because he had an opportunity, but now fourth down and two. This is a big situation for him, and oh my gosh, he is going to pick it up there. We hit him in the backfield, but Doug Martin battled forward, picked up the first down. First and ten now, and he's going to take off here with John Elway, but he gets sacked in the backfield. Injury timeout, and guys, we're in a good situation here, setting up a second and 19. We've just got to try and stop him. We get another sack there with John Randall. Third and 21 now. We're not sending the heat this time, trying to make sure that we don't give up another deep pass, and he throws this one right out of bounds. Not a good pass there by his quarterback, John Elway. The wide receiver, I guess, ran straight out of bounds. But on 4th and 21, we do send just a little bit of pressure there, and it gets through. We're back in business on offense, finding a man on the first play into the end zone. Now we've got a three-score game once again. I'm fine with you. But I'm going to go. Keep your videos cool. Chill. So actually my opponent, I didn't realize this during the game, but he's actually a subscriber to the channel. So shout out to him for a very good game, very close contest. We barely walked away with this one, man. We made a couple bad, bad mistakes, but we do get the W, thankfully. And uh, yeah, Twinkie King 3000. Yeah, you can be in the video, man. Thank you again for the good game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, click that like button. And of course, do me a favor as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Bringing you guys more Madden 16 head-to-head -head season content here in the coming days. So be on the lookout for it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.